Hello, this is Miss Siever. I just wanted to review something with you um, in case you don't have access to it. So what I would like to review is right here. I can identify fact families. So on the teacher side, we're able to access videos along with those lessons that we send you in your packets. And um, the curriculum is called Pearson Learn. So here's a little video I'm going to play for you and just let me know if it helps you and give me some feedback because if it's helpful, I'll send another one next week, okay? So here we go. We're on topic five, lesson seven. All right, so here's topic five, lesson seven, addition and subtraction facts 220. Fact Families Review. You can write two addition facts for this part, part, whole mat. What addition fact can you write? So 9 plus 6 equals 15. Here we have 9. 9 plus 6 equals 15. So here's part, part, whole. And 6 plus 9 equals 15. How are the two addition sentences alike? What do you notice? What, what is the same? What's alike? What is something you've noticed? Maybe you can create your own addition sentence using objects in your house. Maybe you have something you can use as counters, such as beans, buttons, or cereal. Alright, so they have the same three numbers. We've noticed that, right? That both of these addition sentences have the number 6, the number 9, and the number 15. How are the addition sentences different? How are they different? Very good. The 9 and the 6 had switched places. Do you get the same sum or a different sum when you add the parts in a different order? So when you add 9 plus 6 and 6 plus 9, do they equal the same sum? Sum also means answer. Yes, you get the same sum the same answer. So you can add the parts in any order. You can also write two subtraction facts. What kind of subtraction fact could you write? Very good. 15 take away 6 equals 9. What if you take 15 take away 9? What would that equal? 15 take away 9 would equal what? Fifteen take away six is nine. How can you show the parts of the fact family? Think about this question as you work it out. All right, let's click forward. What addition and subtraction facts use these numbers? Drag the paper onto the different numbers in the model to see the related facts in the fact family. So here's the paper. So 
This shows subtraction. 15 is the whole. 6 is one part. So, 9 is the hidden part. So, 15 take away 6 equals 9. So what addition and subtraction facts? Use these numbers. Drag the paper onto the different numbers in the model to see the related facts in the fact family. So if I move the paper on top of the 6, what will the answer be? So this shows subtraction. 15 is the whole, 6 is one part, so 9 is the hidden part. Now if I hide the 6, here we go. This shows subtraction. 15 is the whole, 9 is one part, so 6 is the hidden part. Now if I move the paper to the 15, this shows addition. 9 is one part, 6 is the other part, so 15 is the whole. What is 15 in the part, part, whole, mat? What is the number 15 called? Is it a part or a whole? It is the whole. What is the part you know? What is the part you know? Six is the part you know. Subtract one part from the whole. What is the part that is covered? Nine is the part that's covered. So, nine equals 15 minus six. The other subtraction fact is 15 minus nine equals six. How is this subtraction sentence like the one you saw before? It has the same three numbers. How is it different? The 6 and 9 have switched places. Also, a different part is subtracted from 15. Subtract the other part from the whole. So, 9 is subtracted from 15 instead of 6. Look at these facts. 9 plus 6 equals 15. 6 plus 9 equals 15. 15 minus 6 equals 9. And 15 minus 9 equals 6. These facts are related. They are a fact family. Why are these number sentences called a fact family? The number sentences use the same numbers and they are related. Now you know what a fact family is. Do you understand what a fact family is now? Great, let's move on. So here's a question to think about to see if you understand. Can 9 equals 15 minus 6 be written as 15 minus 6 equals 9? So 15. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so 15, and then we're going to take away what? Take away 6, 15, take away 6, so here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many do we have left? Let's count. Let's put a circle around the ones we have left. Here we go, and let's count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 15 take away six equals nine. Is that correct? Yes. But here our number sentence started with a nine. So it's 15. Here we, it's just written backwards. 15 take away six, nine. We just have the equal sign at the beginning. And it's actually the same thing. It just looks a little different. Are these three numbers still together? Do we have a number six? Yes. Do we have a number nine? Yes. Do we have a number 15? Yes. Are those same three numbers still together? Yes. So if those three same numbers are still together, they are related, so they are called a what? They are called a fact fam family. Thank you for watching today's lesson. If you thought it was helpful and you liked it, please let me know. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.